I'm always on the lookout for new Jabba related items, merchandise and things. But in all honesty, there aren't that many things that come out these days. So when I found this item online, I was very intrigued. It's part of a new line of stretchable Star Wars toys by Character Online, which is a British company that apparently has the rights to use the Stretch Armstrong license, uh, and as well as the Star Wars license now, of course, too. Stretch Armstrong, if you're not aware, is quite an old toy. I had one when I was a little kid. It's basically a rubbery toy filled with a kind of thick corn syrup, and you can just pull his limbs really far. You know, he's just got rubbery, a rubbery body that you can pull and twist out of shape, and then it'll eventually go back to the original size and shape. It's kind of fun. Uh, what they've done, of course, what Character Online have done, is to take that concept and apply it to Star Wars. So they have a bunch of different figures, including uh, Boba Fett, C-3PO, and so forth. You can see them all here on the screen. But of course, the one that really intrigued me the most was Jabba. And so I immediately set out to buy one. Uh, I found this one actually on eBay. It wasn't too terribly expensive. In fact, it was a uh, retail price of $39.99. That's uh, British pounds. And then I had to pay, of course, shipping to the U.S. But uh, when I got the package, I was super surprised at how heavy it was. I thought maybe there had been some kind of mistake because I really did not expect it to be so heavy. As you can see here, it, it weighs about five and a quarter pounds, which is insanely heavy for this size, although it's also quite a bit bigger than I had expected as well. This is a large toy. In fact, well, I'll do some comparisons later with other Jabba figures, but this is quite a large figure. Let's just put it that way. So uh, before we open them up, I want to look briefly at this packaging. It's actually pretty unusual packaging, too. This is a sort of plastic um, sandwich. So you've got a plastic thing on the front, you got a plastic thing on the back, and then you can see all the way through here, as you can probably see. And then this is a cardboard kind of frame around it. Um, I'm hoping I can open this up and take him out and then return him to the package for storage and display later on, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, on the front you can see we've got some vintage inspired packaging design. We've got a nice picture of Java here and here. I definitely approve. You see it's called Stretch Dab of the Hut. Stretch him, he will always go back to his original shape, and we've got a couple of boys <laughs> showing that off. Uh, this does say it's for ages five plus, which would have been about the age I had one of these, I think, when I was a kid, too, which is interesting to think about. Uh, if we turn it around, you have similar things on the back. We've got the same couple of boys here. We have a uh, an odd thing here. It shows a three and three quarter inch action figure next to him, but I don't really know why, because this is, doesn't seem to be in three and three quarter inch scale, and I don't think the ones, the other figures that they were selling are that small either, so I don't really know what the point of this was. Uh, Jabba, by the way, should not be this big relative to a human being. That's just excessive, but in any case, if we look over here on the left, we have a few more pictures. It says, grab and stretch his arms and legs. Hang on a minute. He doesn't have any legs. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really sure who wrote this or if this is just something that they reuse for all of their uh, figures, but I thought that was kind of funny. My daughter actually uh, pointed that out to me. Here it says, let go and it'll return to his normal shape. Super strong, super stretchy. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and see if we can open this up and see what he actually looks like out of the package. <laughs> He's very rubbery. Wow, this is something else. <laughs> okay, so he's got a little thing on the bottom there. Wow, he feels like he's kind of like slowly melting in my hands, which is really something else. You know, they had those old Jabba figures in the 90s with real fill skin. It's supposed to you know feel like you're touching Jabba, but they never felt like anything... I imagine Java to be, it was just sort of, you know, you're touching some rubber, but man, this really does feel like I imagine Java to feel to some degree. I mean, it'd probably be more slimy than this, but wow. 
uh, we should probably do a little uh, testing of his stretch abilities. So let's see, this cap part, which is not removable and is made of hard plastic, we can try and kind of like bend his body, pull his body so it's taller. That's interesting. We can take both of his arms and stretch them out. You know, I'm always a little afraid of breaking something like this, but you can be pretty pretty aggressive with this and it still goes back just like it was at the beginning. And the tail, look at that, it's insane. <laughs> wow. There he is, folks. Really interesting feeling toy, I'll tell you that. Boy, I don't know what to say about this. I do want to do a size comparison. So let's see if we can... <laughs> I wonder if he's just going to, like, kind of slowly melt into a blob or something if I leave him like this. If we compare him to um, the Black Series one, it is very similar in size. I don't know if we can quite tell, but uh, yeah, this feels bigger and it's definitely heavier, but uh, I would say it's about the same size and this one is going to be a bit squatter because it just has this tendency to kind of melt down onto whatever surface it's, surface it's sitting on. The universal standard of measurement, the vintage Jabba, we can put next to him. So obviously he's quite a bit larger than that. I can't get over this. This is, you know, this is a lot of fun to play with actually. Just kind of sit here and fondle his tail. Maybe I shouldn't say that. So when I first heard about this, I thought $39.99 uh, in, in pounds was quite expensive, but I had underestimated how big it was and how heavy. I mean, I, I guess the weight doesn't really factor into the uh, value you get, but it does feel more substantial than I expected. Part of me wonders if they couldn't make a more realistic higher-end Jabba figure that makes use of kind of a similar concept with this, you know, this filling that would make him uh, be more sort of Posable. I mean, they've tried making posable tails in the past, and they've never looked right, but actually this tail looks pretty good, and it is posable. Look at that. I mean, you can do all kinds of things with it besides stretch it. So, uh, I'm, I'm really kind of interested in this, uh, this concept. Let's see what else we can do with him. We can fold his body. <laughs> Look at this. This is a lot of fun. Tie him in knots, stretch him out. Ow! <laughs> this is, uh, I guess, one of those non-Newtonian fluids in here that, you know, if you're just moving it slowly, it's quite malleable. But if you actually do try to hit it with some force, it is quite hard. That is something else. It feels rock hard when I do that. Will wonders never cease? Well, I'm not really sure what else I can say about this. In some sense, it is kind of a one-trick pony, but it's quite a trick. I really like it. I, I enjoy uh, just kind of holding him and uh, moving him around like this. And uh, I'm really glad that this company decided to make Jabba into this kind of figure. I mean, it seems like kind of a no-brainer in a way uh, for this character, much more so than a lot of the other ones that they're making, you know, Darth Vader or whatever. It doesn't really make sense for him to be a stretchy figure, but Jabba totally, totally makes sense. So I hope you enjoyed this look at this uh, very unusual Jabba figure. I, as far as I know, these are only available in the UK at the moment. I don't know if they're going to be coming to, you know, elsewhere. Uh, at this point, you may have to try importing it from the UK if you want one. But uh, yeah, I mean, if it looks like the kind of thing that you would like, I would totally recommend doing that because I'm having a lot of fun. See you later. As always, my thanks go out to my Patreon supporters, including these Palace VIPs, Angelica Brady and Jesper Murtu. If you'd like to know how you can support the channel for as little as a dollar a month, in exchange for things like early videos, behind the scenes posts, and more, go to the link in the video description.